Billy, after the last game, Coach talked about you being an absolute student of the game. Your brother played quarterback, so you've been a quarterback your whole life. When did you start those study habits, and how did that come about? Yeah, I think always looking back to it, kind of when I get something, you know, when I get asked questions that bring me back to it, like, mm -hmm. I don't know exactly. I think watching my brother, you know, with the, the five, about five year age gap we had really helped me. Um, I remember it was going into my freshman year where I kind of made the, I don't know why, I made the decision right in my head where I started to go to the field late at night and throw. You know, going into my sophomore year of high school, I knew I had a really good opportunity to start. So I started, you know, I stopped playing baseball, stopped playing basketball, and I focused on football. Um, and I meet with my offensive coordinator, meet with my head coach during lunch, trying to just just learn things knowing that you know obviously playing quarterbacks hard and you know you only get so much game experience but the stuff you can do the 90 percent that you can do before you ever take a snap you know behind the center in a live situation is you know set yourself up for success so i've always tried to you know pride myself on that obviously right you know uva uconn or villanova today that throw some different looks that you know we may not be ready for but all the stuff that i do the the preparation gives me the best you know chance to go out there on saturday and be successful and feel confident the biggest part that i was happy about was i just did it you know executing my game plan, you know, following my rules, not trying to make any play out of, you know, something. So, yeah, they gave us a lot of access to those. We just tried to stay on schedule offensively and, you know, worked out well for us. Billy Locks talked about the struggles kind of in the middle of the game, the turnovers, kind of stuff like that. No, when that, that's happening in a, a day where, you know, you guys were maybe expecting the backups to be able to come in and you had to stay in a little bit longer, D does that concern you guys with having to go to Indiana next week, teams like USC coming here late, later in the season? No, I just think, you know, I think, you know, talking to Coach Locks towards the end of the game, I think just the the overall, right, the ones or the offense, you know, definitely we can we can take ownership of that middle eight. I think, you know, we all wanted to, to get that touchdown before the half um, and then to come out and start just how we started the game off in the first quarter there, go down and score to start the third quarter. Um, so, yeah, you know, we're our goal is to try to play a complete game. Obviously, that middle eight is where, you know, majority of our focus will be on for the next coming week to try to string together a full game here, you know, with a tough one coming up on the road next week. But, yeah, I would say that's just the most part where, you know, obviously we won, I'm happy, but that's the part where a lot of my, you know, a lot of my attention will be on just how we can we can execute those two or three drives in that middle eight um, and really, you know, the uh, the feeling, the outcome, the score would look a lot different if we can execute that a little bit better. Tim Locks talked about you playing some really clean football. Obviously, you've also had Ty out there and Ty putting up, you know, video game numbers. What, yeah. what can you say about what he's done out there? Yeah, I mean, he's just he's uh, he's followed his tips and his rules, right? He's he hasn't tried to do anything different. Um, you've seen multiple times throughout, you know, the first four games where I'll throw him a five-yard hitch and he'll take it for 35. Or she kind of took it for 75. Um, so we're just, you know, I think the reason we're we're playing, you know, well offensively right now is just trying to stay on schedule. I think, you know, whether it's we got to be able to run the ball, if they give us light numbers in the box like we had some, especially early in the game, or they want to play, you know, heavy in the box and give us opportunities to pass ball, we just got to stay on schedule. Um, and I think, you know, the biggest thing for the both of us and all the receivers, you know, in the past game, why we've been able to have success is just, like I said, staying on schedule, taking what the defense gives us. When they give us one-on-one -on -one like they had in that, you know, in the little red there when I threw the fade up to tie, then, you know, playmakers got to make plays. They got to give them a good ball. He's got to make it. But I think it's just the biggest thing is just staying true to our game plan and not, you know, not trying to force anything. After you come to trust him. Yeah, I'd say, you know, even before I was a starter, like I said, I've known him since I was a freshman in high school, but he was probably one of the first guys when I transferred here in 2022 that I worked out with. Um, now, you know, it's different in game with live bullets flying, but I'd, I'd say we've, me and Ty for sure, but definitely me and a lot of the receivers, we've developed that trust pretty quickly where, you know, I know if they're if they're one on one on an island, I could throw the ball up and you know give them a chance and, and have complete faith and confidence. Like Eighty seven point five percent of passes. That's a new program record. With each start, can you describe your comfort level as a quarterback? Yeah, I would say I think if you ask people around the facility, like, and I'm and I'm kind of conscious of this, like, for most games, I'm very like almost too kind of like calm. Where I, you know, I'm a quarterback. Obviously, a lot of the games mental. I try to just stay, you know, level headed because you know knowing that it's a long game, I don't try to get you know wound up in the highs and lows of it. Um, but I think each game I've just gotten calmer and calmer. Where you know I've, like I said, Monday through Friday, I go go put the work in, and when I come out here Saturday, I have all the confidence in the world. You know, there's no nerves, no kind of you know big eyes looking around, whether it's home or away, whatever the situation is. So I just pride myself on the preparation Monday through Friday, and you know every game I think I've gotten a little bit more comfortable and calm so far.